The pressure is on and opening game nerves can often take hold. Match day one for these two nations here at the 2024 UEFA European Championship. Who will be first to make their mark on the group? Next on EA TV. And a warm welcome on what is an ideal night for football, you've got to say. I'm Derek Ray at the microphone, and joining me for match commentary is Stuart Robson. And it's match day one in the 2024 UEFA European Championship. It's Norway against Italy. Well, you have to be consistent in these group games. You can't afford to have an off day, otherwise you're out the running before you know it. Anticipating a really good game, though, Derek. Hope we're not disappointed. Here's how Norway will begin the game. Martin Odegaard plays alongside Sander Berge in central midfield. And leading the line today is Erling Haaland. And the Italy starting 11. Gianluigi Donnarumma is the keeper. Nicolo Barella plays alongside Jorginho in the centre of midfield. And the idea is to have just the one striker up there trying to pose problems for the opposition. Italy, the defending champions, up against Spain, Albania and Croatia in Group B. It was slightly against the head when you think about what happened last time out at the Euros, because Italy, of course, had been going through a bad patch. But you almost have to take them seriously every time, don't you? You do, because Italy didn't have a particularly good side under Mancini, but he made them tick, and another manager, Spalletti, could do that all over again. But if you look at their players from 1 to 11, I don't think they're quite good enough to get that far in oh, the tournament. Oh, they could finish here, Stuart. Spot on with that tackle. Who can he pick out? And veering in. Wonderful block. Christopher Ayer and a good looking pass looks as though there might be a threat but not so in the end good defending Berg Christopher Ayer Well, they've given him too much space. And still danger here. Well, no danger now. Well, you sense it's just a matter of time before they do score, Derek. They've been piling on the pressure now and really should be ahead in this one. Playing with plenty of zest and energy on the front foot once more. And the keeper more than equal to the task. Possession seeded by Italy. Once again, couldn't keep hold of it. Now, let's see what they can do here. Chance to play it in. Can he finish this? And the goalkeeper has outdone himself with that save. <laughs> and over it comes. Not the best clearance. And the referee playing advantage. Will he play it in? Precise ball movement. A oh, terrific piece of goalkeeping.
But he's gone short with it. Looking for someone to play it to. Alexander Surlot. Now relying very much on the passing game in a bid to take the lead. And he's kept it out, fully stretched, somehow reaching it. He's driven in the corner. A goal! The opening statement of the match. A richly deserved lead. And now they can celebrate. Well, here's the replay. It's certainly a well-delivered ball into the area. And then Haaland demonstrates his ability in the air. He judges the flight, meets it solidly, and beats the keeper. That's how to head a ball. And the ball moving again. What sort of response will we see from them now? Barella. And good use of advantage. The referee allowing play to continue. Davide Fratesi. Well, no way through. I am Patrick Berg. And we will have just one additional minute. Martin Odegaard. Oh, good save. Now referring to the earlier infringement, the referee sees it as a bookable offence. to deliver it accurately and a struggle to get it away properly good looking cross that is that for the first half here well you have to say Erling Haaland has been at his excellent best up to now not that that should come as any great surprise. Well, he's been a joy to watch so far. He's got so much ability, and it was also a very good finish for his goal. He's been excellent. So, back underway here, into the second half. Really doing a fine job of protecting the ball. Options in the middle. Barella. Well, that's an attractive passing move, but it's all about finding an equaliser here. Straight forward for the keeper. Well, as you can see from those stats, their attacking play just hasn't been good enough. They need to start getting the ball into the final third more often and play at a quicker tempo. Otherwise, they just won't get back into this game. Yes, their creative struggles continue. They need more possession. Just wasn't going to give that ball away. Berg. Fratesi. Now with Jorginho. Davide Fratesi. And the challenge halts them in their tracks. Barella. On the ball, Zaniolo. Davide Fratesi. 
are showing good patience I think I spoke too soon wasn't the best of passes finally counter-attacking very much an option Holland a real opening now and a goal there he is at the double they just can't subdue him well just look at this again the speed of counter-attack is so impressive and then Holland finishes it with such quality just look how much power he hits this with it's a top-class goal from a top-class player So underway once more, 2-0 the lead here. Federico Di Marco. Alessandro Bastoni. Scalvini. And a lot to like about this attack. Barella. Really effective shielding under pressure. Really vital interception here. Racing forward, trying to catch them out. Wonderful chance. And the goalkeeper has outdone himself with that save. And they will make the change now. Who can they pick out? Oh, really good header. Really fine goalkeeping. Another corner conceded. What can they do with this one? <laughs> Elects to go short. And continues his run. That is a very fine challenge in difficult circumstances. Federico Chiesa. And moving the ball forward with genuine purpose here. Hold on! And you cannot argue with a hat trick. Simply unstoppable today. Well, just look at his movement. He knows exactly how to find space. And it's also a tidy finish. That's a nice goal. This is looking rather comfortable for them. 3-0. Fratesi. Galvini Barella has it Barella Alessandro Bastoni Giorgio Scalvini on to Giorginio Davide Fratesi oh he's through here well they pulled one back but perhaps a bit too late in this contest. They haven't been at the races this evening. Well, first of all, where's the defending? They're all over the place. But give him some credit. That's a good finish. Great composure. So back underway at 3-1. Jorginho. Barella. Now with Jorginho. And nicely over the top. 
And Norway regaining possession. Giorgio Scalvini on the ball Bastoni Jorginho and we will have a couple of additional minutes at the end here well, possibilities inside the box and they deal with the threat this time and the final whistle it's a defeat for Italy not the outcome their fans were hoping for. Stuart, your thoughts? You're absolutely right, Derek. They really struggle to get to grips with the game. They always seem second to the ball, and then just a few mistakes at the back, and it's cost them. Poor performance all round.